Project Elixir has been with us for a long time now, offering a minimal UI enhancement and a close-to-stock Android experience with great performance, security and stability. While using Project Elixir, you are guaranteed a butter-smooth workflow without compromising the quality of the overall Android experience. We are already in October and the official Project Elixir version 3.2 brings you the latest security patch level in addition to extra features and improvements. In this video, we will be looking at the changes featured in the latest official change log. On top of the October SPL, Project Elixir has made sure that CTS passes by default without the need for root. Consequently, you can expect all your banking apps to work perfectly fine. Using this SafetyNet attestation checker app, the results confirm that you shouldn't worry about CTS. Before we continue, analytics show that most of the people watching my videos are not subbed to the channel. Take a moment, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any update. If you are a gamer, Project Elixir 3.2 is here to improve your gaming experience even further. First, you get a GameSprop toggle that allows you to unlock higher FPS in games by spoofing your device as a different model for specific games that may be limited on your device. Also, for a more immersive gaming experience, the Game Space option opens you to a ton of options like changing the ringer mode, blocking full screen events like phone calls, keeping the device awake, besides toggles to disable auto brightness, USB debugging, swipe to screenshot, and heads up notifications. Further, you can tweak the overlay menu opacity level and add a library of your games on Game Space. When you put all these features together, you get to enjoy an uninterrupted gaming time. In the previous version of Project Elixir, the camera gesture setting was missing the necessary illustration but now it has been added to fill the once blank space. By default, there will be a ripple effect every time you unlock your device with the fingerprint. Of course, not everyone likes this, and that is why Project Elixir 3.2 has added a toggle to turn this feature on or off depending on your preferences. This can also be very helpful to save performance on devices that may struggle rendering the ripple effect. In addition, you can choose to enable the double tap to sleep feature on the lock screen and avoid the need to keep pressing the power button all the time. Still in the Essence features, you now get a status bar tuner option where you decide what icons to keep on the status bar, as a way to avoid unnecessary clutter. On the same status bar, Project Elixir 3.2 has brought back the good old circle battery style including the dotted and filled options. As a bonus, Elixir 3.2 has also introduced landscape battery icon styles for a change from the circle options. In most cases, there are not much customizations you can apply to the clock and the status bar but Project Elixir 3.2 is here to change that. Specifically, you can now opt to show the date next to time, adjust the position, and even change the date style to your liking. Even better, it is now possible to display AM or PM depending on your preferences. Regarding quick settings, Elixir 3.2 has added the option to apply blur effect to the media notification artwork background. And the good thing is that you have a slider with which you can set your sweet spot for the level of blur. When you get to the notification settings, you will be happy to learn that Project Elixir 3.2 has introduced a toggle for annoying notifications. This means that you can choose to play sound and vibration for notifications while the screen is on, or only when the device screen is off. As usual, pick your preferred toggle position. Overall, Project Elixir 3.2 is a solid update with improvements in both stability and performance. And apart from the highlight changes featured here, there are more changes under the hood that you will experience once you have moved from version 3.1 to 3.2. It is also good to note that there are also fixes for some of the issues encountered in the previous version. If your device is officially supported, you will get to enjoy all the new and improved features on Project Elixir's Essence app. Just head over to the official website and grab this latest iteration of one of the most appealing Android custom ROMs. If you are already running the update, drop a comment below and share your experience. Drop a fat thumbs up to this video if you like it, subscribe to this channel, and share this video. Catch you on the next one.